What's up guys welcome to your fifth PHP tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the if else if else statement now last time I taught you guys how to use the if else statement which meant we told PHP alright we're going to give you something to do if it's this do this if it's that do that but see that only gives you a limited number of choices but what if you want to tell PHP to have some more choices well that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys today so let's go ahead and create a variable. I'm going to call mine Steve. And let's go ahead and create a basic if statement. And I'm going to say if the variable equals Steve. And notice I use two equal signs. That means if the variable is exactly equal to the string Steve, then we want you to echo, hey, Steve O. Now, in the last case, if you wanted one condition, you would use the else statement. But we want more than one, so we're going to use something called the else if statement. What this does is allow you to use this multiple times and give PHP multiple amount of choices. So we're going to say if var, the variable, is exactly equal to Brian, then we want you to echo hey there Bri now you can use this else if statement as many times as you want you can use it just one time or you can use it 40 times it doesn't matter as long as you include the word else if with a condition after it you can use it as many times as you want now our last statement in every statement we always end the if else if else statement is of course the else now notice that I do not give a condition after it this is because PHP already knows alright if none of these conditions are true then that's when we want to do the else so this condition only executes if nothing above it right here can be done so we want to say if none of that can be done then we want to echo you idiot because that means we messed up and we don't want that so as you can see right now the variable is Steve so it should execute hey Steve-o so let's go ahead and save this and I'll refresh my page and as you can see it says hey Steve-o let's go ahead and change variable to Brian as you can see in our else if statement when the variable is exactly equal to Brian should say hey there Bri so let's save this refresh it and as you see hey there Bri of course lastly if we set the variable equal to something we'll call it Dan as you can see this only has Steve and Brian it doesn't have Dan so else if it doesn't match any of these echo you idiot so that's what it should do so let's save that refresh of course it echoes you idiot just like we want it to now to recap one last time if gives the first condition you can use as many other choices using the else if and lastly if none of the conditions are true then that's when you want to execute the else statement so that's it for this tutorial I'll see you next time I guess see ya